Hi, this is a quick video to introduce you to the uh, fundals, Fundamentals of Chinese Courseroom. Um, uh, a lot of you will be new to Moodle, so I thought it would be a good idea to just uh, give you a quick introduction to the layout of this course so that you can hit the ground running and hopefully not be confused. Uh, so to enter the course, you come into my courses and uh, Fundamentals of Chinese 1 in Moodle. We are not using Blackboard. We are not using the lab uh, Moodle. We're only using this Fundamentals of Chinese 1 in Moodle here. Everything that you need to uh, participate in this course will be right in here. Click in. Here we are. Uh, when you first come in, there's a news form. I'll be providing updates here. Uh, here is a form where you can ask me a question at any time throughout the semester. I'll answer it. Uh, here's the syllabus. Click here to download it. Uh, this is the orientation unit. Hopefully, uh, you've already watched this video, if it's already Unit 1. Uh, here in the orientation unit, here's the video you're watching right now. In here is the checklist that I emailed you a few days back. Hopefully you've already done everything. Hopefully you've already done everything on this checklist if you haven't um, get it done yesterday. Um, okay, here you're going to want to uh, go in here and read the introductory material to Chinese Pinyin. In here there's a video of me introducing you to Chinese tones. Watch the video. Here is a video of me teaching you how to, or the basics of how to write Chinese characters. Watch that. And here is an assignment where you start writing uh, Chinese characters or radicals of Chinese characters. And come here and introduce yourself and say hello to your classmates. So the orientation unit is uh, a little unique. Let's jump right in. Here is the key piece of this video here the unit structure. Uh, it may look like there's a lot here, but in fact, it, I think there's less time involved on your part than if this was a face-to-face -face class. Okay, Here in each unit, this will stay the same. The structure will stay the same in every unit. Of course, the content in here will change, but this structure on the outside will stay the same. So this is the instructional piece here. And if you come up count up these minutes, you'll see that there is less time here than there is if you were to attend a face-to-face -face class two days a week for an hour and 15 minutes for a total of two and a half hours a week. I think there's like two hours of instructional material here. And I've made it, you know, like this Understand It video, I believe, is only 15 minutes long but I doubled the amount of time because I'm assuming you might pause the video and take notes or whatnot. So you may get through this even quicker. So the instruction in this online course in Chinese, potentially uh, you will spend less time at it than you would if you were to sit in my classroom two days a week. Um, however, I do suggest that you do spend a little more time than I've suggested here just because the more time uh, you spend at something, uh, the better results you'll get, um, generally. So this, these are the instructional pieces. Um, here's a unit overview where you should go in and just have a quick look to get ready for what's coming. Schedule it is where you'll contact by email uh, first and then however you guys want to uh, communicate after that. Uh, here's where you'll schedule for the unit uh, the time where you will meet online in the online workbook uh, area to record a, a you two doing a dialogue together. So you'll have to schedule that so you can meet online. Um, the the dialogue recordings between classmates uh, is done in the Cheng and Sui online workbook area, um, and you both log on at the same time. It's like a chat room and you hit record, you do the dialogue, 
and you listen to it. If you like it, you submit it to me for grading. If you don't like it, you can record it again, and you can keep recording it until you like the recording, and then you can submit, submit it to me. So here's where you schedule that. Here's where you watch the uh, DVD presentation of actors acting out the dialogue for that unit, five minutes. Here's the uh, video instruction of me explaining the vocabulary and grammar and the meaning of the dialogue. So you'll have your textbook out. You'll listen to this and take notes as I give you instruction here. After I've done that, you'll watch this video again. Rewatch it. Here's another instructional video of me teaching you how to pronounce Chinese. Here is um, another video of me uh, walking you through reciting the dialogue and how to pronounce it correctly and everything. And here is a cultural video. In each unit there will be a culture item, whether it's a video or text. So that's it. You want to go through these and um, and complete the instruction for the unit. Down here are the assignments. Each unit has these five assignments here. Okay. This assignment is the character practice. You don't need to wait until you're done doing this before you start the character practice because this is just getting out a pen and writing characters over and over and over again. Um, so it's pretty easy. I think you should know what the character you're writing means so you don't just want to start writing stuff and you have no idea what it means. You know, you might want to have the vocabulary list in the textbook open so that you at least know what you're writing, but, but you can start this immediately when the unit begins. The online, online workbook exercises for the reading and writing and listening exercises, I think you'll be ready to start doing these as soon as you finish uh, this Understand It instructional video. Okay, so you've watched the video, you've read the dialogue in your textbook, and then you've watched me go through the dialogue and explained it to you. Now you're ready to do most of the exercises here. The speaking exercises in here, it would be best if you first did uh, the pronounce it instructional video and the recite it video. So after you do these two, I think you'll be best prepared to do the uh, dialogue with your classmate and then the other speaking exercises in the in the online workbook. The reciting, this is where you record yourself reciting um, the uh, dialogue and then submitting it to me for grading. Uh, here is a video where I help get you ready to do this assignment here. So here's the instructional piece after which you come down here and, and do the reciting. Here is the culture at form activity. All this is is a reminder to come down here and do this and participate in this forum. So there's really nothing to do in here. You can click in here and there's some instruction, but all it's doing in here is telling you to come down here and participate in the forum. And I have this here because I can grade this activity. So once you participate here, then I can enter, give you a grade, and you can keep up with your grades from unit to unit so you can see what grade you have in the class. Same here, this is just a reminder telling you to come down here and participate in this form. And that's it. Very simple. If you add up the time here, you'll see that um, it's very reasonable. I know there's a lot of stuff here and it seems like um, it's a bit overwhelming, but in fact, I think it's a very reasonable course. Um, the amount of content that we're meeting from week to week uh, is not so much. And in fact, in this course, you have two weeks of content, and then the, the third week is a test. So you have no new content or homework that week. There's just a test on the previous two units. So unit one, unit two, content, unit three, test. Unit four, unit five, content, unit six, test. Unit seven, unit eight, content, unit nine, test. And there'll be five tests like that throughout the semester. No midterm, no final just those five tests. You're probably going to spend most of the time, most of your time in the assignments in the online workbook area. And I put two hours here. I really don't think, if, if you've watched the, the video, uh, watch the Understand It video of me explaining the dialogue for the unit, um, and you took careful notes, 
then I think you could sit down and get through these uh, workbook exercises in an hour, in half the time that I suggested here. Um, uh, you certainly don't want to come in here without having prepared fully up here. But that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, uh, if you have any questions, call me, email me. I live in Plymouth. If you want to meet with me, if you're confused or whatever, and you want to meet and talk about this, uh, you can make an appointment with me. Uh, I'll come into the office and I'll help you out. Um, I'm very excited. I love Chinese. I love this language and I love teaching it. And I look forward to watching all of you um, develop your Chinese skills. Bye-bye.